We'd all love to create our dream home. But it's hard knowing where to start. No problem. The Deadline Design team will show you how it's done. Look at this. Isn't it incredible? Amazing. I've been an interior designer for over 20 years. I want to make this country English garden mixed with that high-end, beautiful, elegant Parisian feel. Mike Griggs is an award-winning builder with 25 years' experience in the trade. The schedule is tight, but yeah. it's not looking too bad. And Yasmin Janine is an emerging designer with an eye for the unique and offbeat. I'd love actually to do like a mirror ceiling. Not over the bed. No, not over the <laughs> bed. Together, we'll give you an exclusive insight into the design process by following a variety of different owners. Shana versus Helen. We've still got vertical blinds, which are apparently a no-no these days. <laughs> we can't agree on anything ever. On hugely different budgets. <laughs> it's sort of 50 to 70,000. About 350,000. With wildly different tastes. I'd say the style is minimalist. An industrial warehouse. We love vintage. Scandinavian, maybe but all desperate to meet a looming deadline. We've been operating without an oven for 11 weeks. I'm not cooking outside for winter. Because I've got relatives coming over from Germany and they're pretty fussy. My mother and father are both turning 70 this year, so we'd really love to have a big family gathering. Then after the odd setback... We're 300 mil short. I'm still just not sold. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow. The dream becomes reality. Wow. <gasps> Oh, that looks beautiful. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my God. Wow. Thank you so oh. much. <laughs> Tonight, sci-fi superfan Pete... China, this is my... Oh, my God! <laughs> ..wants this design to boldly go where no design has gone before. I'm looking for something definitely a bit out there. In a monster makeover, feats of engineering. I love how you throw the challenges on me. <laughs> meet feats of design, yeah. personality, fun, and glamour. The bathroom I've always wanted, yeah. it's just beautiful. To make a dazzling display. Wow. Blackburn is a leafy family suburb 17 kilometres east of Melbourne's CBD. Pete and Debbie Briley have lived here for 12 years, but they're about to become empty nesters. We've been married for 28 years 28 now. years now. Going on 29. Yes. And um, we have two children, Bethany, who's 23 years old. And Lachlan, and Lachlan. Who, who's eight, oh, sorry, 19 years old now. Far from wanting to downsize, though, this couple want to upscale. They want this five-bedroom house given a dream makeover, and they're prepared to spend big to get it. It's great living in this house. It's a great layout. It's probably a bit dated, which is, you know, why we need China's help. And their deadline? In 15 weeks, they're having a joint 50th birthday party. Yeah, we'd love to show off the house to everyone and um, yeah. just have a fantastic time. That'd be great. She's got good taste, so... Yeah. The couple want me to create a home that really reflects their personalities. I'm an accountant, but I'm not a boring accountant. He's a collector, so he has collections everywhere. As you can see, I've got a lot of magazines and stuff related to film and television. We've got some ideas, but it needs to be still tasteful. Yeah, a little bit different, but tasteful. I'm actually... Yeah. I actually think a little bit differently to that, cos oh. I think I'm looking for something definitely a bit out there, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pete and Debbie have already warned me this is going to be the mother of all makeovers. They're looking for high-end design and are willing to pay for quality. That's like catnip to a designer. Hello. Hello. How are you? Peter. Peter. Debbie. Debbie. How are you? Shana. Nice to oh, meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Your house is amazing already. Oh, thank you. Thank Don't know thank what you. I can do, but... <laughs> <laughs> you can do a lot. Show me around. This yeah, is just huge. Yeah. Wow. 
It's an enormous 500 square metres of house. As you enter, immediately on your right is the master bedroom and ensuite. Further down the hall and beyond the staircase is the winter room, the formal lounge. At the end of the hall, the back of the house is taken up with the kitchen and casual family dining living area. Upstairs, there are three bedrooms, Pete's study and another living room. With the kids about to leave home, they want to set this place up to live in for at least the next 20 years. And they're prepared to spend all their savings on a mega makeover to create the future they've worked so hard for, starting with a new kitchen. We just don't have enough bench space in here, so that's yeah. my biggest issue. When we have a whole heap of people over, yeah. it's really hard to lay out plates yeah. and, you know, have yeah. that space. So the kitchen is a big priority for Debbie, but Pete has his eye on their entertaining space. We're really thinking open it up and bring the outside in. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking by folding walls in yeah. glass, and I was yeah. actually thinking even that window there, that's three windows, make mm -hmm. it one window, so you're always looking okay. out. Beautiful. Over the pool. So yeah. I, I don't know if it's feasible. Everything you're talking about can be done, but it yeah. comes down to budget and time. Yeah. And he's got some equally adventurous plans for the upstairs. Come in, Shana. This is my oh second my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> so the idea would be to find storage in the cinema room for the DVDs and then put books in here and make okay. this a proper library. Yeah, 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 lovely. This mammoth collection has to be moved next door into what Pete hopes will become the cinema room. The wish list is um, storage for all the DVDs that I've got, like in here somewhere, that you don't see them. Yes. And then say a whole wall of screen, so a TV, you know, a really wide, big TV. Yeah. But then with a, um, a projector. projector that comes out of the roof and with a screen that comes out of the roof for the films. Two to four sort of cinema chairs and the rest sort of maybe some sort of sofa or something that the kids could use. I don't, I'm so not really four sure. cinema chairs, a sofa, four. a big TV. It's, it's not going to fit. It's probably not going to fit, no. OK. So I'm thinking big, but I'm going to have to bring it back. So yeah. cinema chairs yeah. as in the big recliners that you put your drinks in the side yeah. and all that sort yeah. of... They take up just as much room as an, almost a couch. Yeah, I know. So it doesn't have to be a cinema chair. Yeah. As long as it can recline. Yeah. yeah. Debbie's happy for Pete to have his man cave as long as she has her own way in the master bedroom and ensuite. So this is our bedroom, Shana. Oh, OK. That's a walk-in robe? Yeah. A walk-in robe, which Look, is yeah. very messy. Yeah. It's very, not really big enough. And it's not, it's not, is it? Enough. No. Yeah. OK. Come okay. through to the ensuite. There's more. Oh, wow. There it is. What do you want to do with this? In our old house we came from, I had a beautiful bath and, mm. you know, a lovely place that I could sit and have a bath, read a book, get away from everybody and I would love mm. this to be like that again yeah. and it's not. I could never understand why they didn't put a mm. bath in there because it is such mm. a nice yeah. size en suite. I think this one will be interesting Thinking. because it'll be about playing, playing with the space mm. and working out what we can and can't do. Mm. Mm. And finally, the slightly tired looking and very red winter room. So this style that's here, it's very Laura Ashley, sort of around the yes. 90s, the, yeah. the type of furniture, and, and it's actually quite beautiful. There's mm. nothing wrong with it, but your style's evolved. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So what has this style evolved into? More the marble and more the, you know, the big stove and I quite like white kitchens. So yeah, like... and this is the opposite. So what, yeah. what is it about that? Um, it's, it's a modern feel to it, but a classic look at the same time. Yeah. And then is this sort of like bedroom inspiration, yeah. that one? Yeah, mm. so it's sort of got that hotel feel about it. And I like, I just liked the um, bed end, yeah. I suppose, the, 
you know, the seat mm. at the end of the bed and, yeah. I think you just hit it on hotel feel. Yeah. Mm. To me, personality is the key for this. Mm. Yeah. Personality, fun and yeah. um, glamour. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's your limit? Originally, my thought was spend 150 to 200. Yeah. But I'd probably go to 250, 300 if it got yeah. everything done. If you know what I mean. So. If I if I said 300, would you be in pain? No. Because that, to me, everything that we've been talking about, we would have to do that. Yeah. I think we're both prepared to spend that because yeah. it is getting what we want. This is a colossal project: new kitchen, glass walls to the garden, Pete cinema room. Debbie's bedroom and ensuite, and all done to the very highest standard of sophistication. Don't get me wrong, $300,000 is a big budget, and I'm really excited about what I can achieve in this reno. But I'm also concerned that with so many areas to fix up, even this substantial sum may not cover it. Time to get Mike and Yas on the case. Well, I have one almighty job for you both. They want a, a bigger bathroom, they yep. want to have their bedroom as an oasis, and yep. then they want to sort of work out how to make the indoor-outdoor feeling. Mm -hmm. So, structurally, we need to tweak a few things. OK. So, what I have upstairs is a family room at the moment, but I need you to get into your headspace of Planet Pete. Curious. Planet Pete. Planet Pete is a great place to be. <laughs> <laughs> Pete loves sci-fi. Doctor Who, he Ooh. wants this to be his media room, but yeah, not only right. just a media room, his wow factor. He wants to bring people into the TARDIS of Doctor Who, <laughs> transport them to somewhere else and uh, blow them away. I love that idea. Yeah? I love it because it's such a strong concept and when you've got somebody giving you that much to begin with, you can run with it and make something quite incredible. Planet Pete yeah, Planet is Pete. the place to be. That's awesome. <laughs> So this is Pete and Debbie's house. Wow. What's wrong with it? It looks beautiful. I know. It's... You know what? It's not falling down. It mm. just needs to be taken to the next level. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Kay. Go through here. Ooh. What I want to do is close this off and have, like, big sliders there so they can make this quite private if they want for the rest of the room. But the biggest change I want to take is... This wall here. No. So, yeah. You walked around the other part mm. and there was the entrance to the master bedroom. I want to seal that up. Yeah. And make this the new entry. So this will be their little bit of a private room and this will sort of make it like their mm. own wing. So we want to open up the wall, do we? We do. What type of wall do we have here? Well, it should be just a cavity, I'm hoping. Tell you what, it sounds like it's hollow. In there? What I want you to see if we can actually make that a cavity slider. We can do. We'll just look at what's happening above yeah. in the ceiling side so there's not too much weight bearing material mm. coming down on the wall. That's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you throw the challenges on me. <laughs> the next challenge is to fit the bath Debbie craves into her ensuite. It's quite wide, like, this is big enough for a double shower. Yeah. But, I mean, do you put the bath here? Do you have a double shower? It's tight. Yeah. So I don't want to just tick the list of, like, shower, yeah. bath, toilet, vanity. It's got to feel spacious. So, sure. to me, yeah. it's your challenge yeah. of, like, how much we can punch out. Typically, some of the walls in the back of the garages aren't load-bearing, so we could punch that out. So right. I would say straight away a big yes to that. <laughs> I want Yas to check out the cinema room to see the space she has to work with. Are you thinking a projector or sort of a massive screen on that I... with joinery around it? I think a big TV, because if you put a TV and a projector, it's too small and yeah. it takes mm -hmm. over and it's really... Once you get a big screen, why do you need it? I just don't think we've got the length, honestly, for a projector as well. I so... Is put together this little galaxy here because I he's just mad about it. There. Amazing. Yeah. They are so clever. So do you think you could use that as some sort of inspiration? A hundred percent, yeah. Well, I mean, I think the whole galaxy works really well with the Doctor Who and the whole cinema experience. So, I don't know, maybe carrying it through the ceiling, dropping a panel um, and, and perforating it, so you're backlighting it, makes oh, wow. it look like you're kind of 
sitting and enjoying a movie under the stars sort of thing. Oh my god, you're going to town. That's he will, <laughs> his mind will be blown. Yeah. That is so good. Yeah. Another big structural issue for us is the new indoor-outdoor zone. He hates the solid wall here. What he wants to do is create this beautiful outdoor space, but wants to have doors that meet in the middle, so when you open them, there's no pole in the centre. There's nothing. This is the big one. Shana, gee, yeah. you know what that's going to take. Yeah, I sort of do, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Thanks very it. much. <laughs> Thanks very much. We're going to need some structural beams up there straight away. And it's going to take an engineer and we're going to have a lab chat to him because it's going to be used in steel for sure. And if we're going to take it right up to the ceiling, we've got to open up the ceiling to get the steel actually into there. Yeah. So, whew. They want that done. That's the dream. And he's happy to pay for it. Yeah. Well, this is a good challenge. Coming up, the budget blows out. If I can't get this budget down, I can't build it. I'm blown away. You did do it first go. That is incredible. And has Mike blown it? <laughs> Pete and Debbie Briley will soon be empty nesters. So they're giving their family home a facelift to look good for the next 20 years. Everything that you're talking about can be done, but it yeah. comes down to budget and time. Yeah. They're willing to spend $300,000 on this enormous makeover. And the deadline is their joint 50th birthday party, yeah, three and a half months away. So Pete, Pete is Doctor Who lover. That is great because it makes for a really strong concept. There are a couple of elements I knew I had to get in there. Loads of storage. He's got so much paraphernalia that he's got to get in that room. But how to make that storage look good is sort of where I'm at at the moment. And I thought, well, these little puppies here, these tassels, gave me a lot of inspiration behind how I could disguise all of the open storage and provide that little bit of mystery which would fit really well with the, the theme of Doctor Who. So I've got my storage sorted. He's not getting a projector, but he is aware of that. So I've replaced it with a massive oversized curved television. He can't complain about the size. Some other elements which I'm trying to incorporate, that idea of sitting underneath a galaxy. Now, it's tricky to kind of incorporate these ideas without going over the top and maybe coming across as a little bit naff. So how do I do that in an artistic way? I'm still trying to figure that out. But perforating an MDF panel, basically, and backlighting it, I think that's going to be a really great feature to the overall room. It's coming together really nicely. Yasser's cinema room is taking shape. Now, I have to get to grips with the entire downstairs especially my concept for the bedroom and winter room. This Melbourne hotel suite has the layout I'm after. The bedroom flows into a sitting room, giving you privacy and comfort at the same time. To achieve this in Pete and Debbie's home, we'll need big structural alterations. So I'm going to make the winter room part of this suite by knocking down the wall between it and the bedroom and installing a cavity slider. I'll add doors here for privacy. Plus, I'm sealing off this original bedroom entrance to make a bigger walk-in wardrobe. Then, by moving the bed to the wall opposite the windows, they can lie there and see the garden or the crackling fire next door. I want to make this hotel a little bit country English garden mixed with that high-end, beautiful, elegant Parisian feel. And the best way to achieve that sophisticated, high-class look is with pattern. A lot of people are petrified of pattern, I think because they don't feel confident about using it. But there are some simple rules to help you. So if I start with that as the base, I need something that's probably just a bit simple in pattern or you have stripes 
I wouldn't go for something like that because it just doesn't work with a colour palette. But just looking at, you've got a floral, you've got a geometric and you've got a stripe. So that's a good way to start. And then working out, is the stripe the hero? Is the geometric the hero? Or does the floral become the hero? It's now just 11 weeks till Pete and Debbie hit the big 5-0 and we hit our deadline. And the first thing I want to do is put them in a mock-up of their bedroom and show them the patterns that will fill it. Let's come and take a walk. You both go there. I'll go over this side. <sighs> Deep breath. Deep breath. OK. Ah! How brave are you, Pete? I'm very brave. You're very yeah. brave? Yeah, yeah. I actually like brave. it, actually. Yeah. yeah. Feel good? Yeah, oh, really yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm wrapped. I think yeah. this will be fabulous. Well, they're with me so far. Let's take a step nearer the edge. Remember, I want to turn the master bedroom and adjoining winter room into a suite by putting a sliding door between the two rooms. So over here, you can actually open this panel all the way to open up the room. Oh, my goodness. That is unbelievable. <coughs> and you can see the Amazing. fireplace? Yeah. It means that you can close those doors in the hallway. Yeah. Open this. Yeah. And lay in here and look at your garden and look at the open fire in winter. What a great idea. That's amazing. Yeah. I would never have thought of that. No, no. me neither. <laughs> me neither. So I suppose you want to see the fabrics that link it. Yes. So the materials yeah. that go into the winter room. Yes, yes. absolutely. Okay, let's yeah. have a look. Okay. Ah. Love it. So we yeah. have got some pretty out there colours. Yeah. 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 So this is more the accents. Yeah. Okay. So you're comfortable with that palette? Yeah, yeah. very much so. Yeah. I love love those patterns. And to make them lovely. really stand out, I'm yeah. going to do the walls a dark charcoal. Oh. <gasps> Will it close the space a bit by making it dark? It'll or? actually make it feel bigger because okay. I'm doing a charcoal carpet. Yeah. We mm -hmm. do charcoal walls. Okay. And because we have this bright fabric in front of it, all you'll see is the fabric and the walls will go like that. <laughs> How do you sit with that one? It's different. And that's what I was looking for, something different, something yeah. glamorous, and I can see it's going to be really glamorous. So. Oof, I thought I'd gone too far then. So that's their master suite covered. But there's also the kitchen to consider. I'm going with a classical white kitchen, but the island bench will be grey and stand out because it's a very unusual curved shape. Pete wanted out there. You can see the angle of the bench. It's curved. It's an unusual shape, it is. but it's angled slightly towards the dining. So all your storage on the other side is all the things that you would need for dining, yeah. cutlery, plates, big serving platters, it's all on that side. Oh, so this side yeah. of the kitchen is all your main things you need for mm. cooking. Yeah. Mm. yeah, Wonderful, yeah. And then it gives you that massive bench space, not just to work, but to also serve. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. terrific. Yeah, yeah. it'll be yeah. great. Pete and Debbie love the concept. In fact, it's got them thinking on an even grander scale. But of course, there's a cost. When you tackle a project as big as this, it's like opening a Pandora's box. When you want one area to look good, the next one has to look good as well. So Pete and Deb have their stack of doors, but now they realise they really do want that outdoor area done, which means a massive pergola, lights, outdoor furniture, which is a huge expense, and I don't want that to take away from my budget for the interior. That pergola alone is a whopping $80,000. They've also taken my advice to install a skylight to lighten their very dark hall and stain those red floors a darker colour. That red really limits what I can do. Initially, Pete and Deb gave me a budget of 300000 but with all of this, we're looking around 450. I reckon a lot more. But if you put it in perspective, they don't go on holidays, don't go to fancy restaurants and really don't spend a lot of money on themselves. So this is really not an investment in the house, but in their life for the next 20 years. Next, can teamwork... This is a bit of love. ..turn this titanic transformation into a happy ever after? Wow. The invites have gone out to Pete and Debbie's 50th birthday party in two months. No pressure. 
and building work has been underway for about two weeks. The downstairs has been gutted. The old entrance to the master bedroom has been sealed up and a hole knocked through between the bedroom and the winter room where new doors will go. But today, attention will be focused on the family room. Loving this, the steel's arrived, the last piece. Can't wait. Pete's dream is to lose this L-shaped bit of wall and install stacking doors that meet where the wall used to be. This will open up the view and bring more light into the room. It's a great vision, but it's a structural nightmare and it's pretty exy at $33,000. We're having to replace the old wooden beams with steel, but even that isn't enough to bear the vast weight of the upper story. Nice. These beams are basically holding up this part of the house. So we've cut out a space for this massive girder, which will run the entire width of the kitchen and lock into the other two. And that will do the trick. In the cinema room, Yas and I have our own struggles. How to get this room done within the $40,000 budget. Sounds a lot, but Pete's chosen a $22,000 TV. Gee, for that, you'd hope it makes its own shows. The bespoke cabinetry Yas is planning is coming in at $16,000. Something's got to give. Now, I know it's all amazing, gorgeous and ever, but yep. if I can't get this budget down, I can't build it. So, can yes. you show me the plans? Because what so, I was thinking... So, that there is an enormous amount of oh, joining. Heaps, so, heaps. there's a lot to be hidden there. And don't you have something else there? Yeah, we've got all open joinery here. What's more yeah. important, this wall of joinery or that? No, definitely that is... We have to keep the cabinets where the TV will go and the open display shelving. But Yas also envisaged an entire wall of shelving to hold his DVDs. That has to be cut in half. Yeah. So we'll reduce that. Yeah, so we've got this part here, we've got that there and that. There's quite a bit happening. Let's yeah. not forget how much that TV is. So I... I, I have not forgotten how yeah. expensive that TV is. Yeah. It's just like... So you know, I have thought about ways of reducing, you know, this isn't a custom piece, this isn't, you know, something that we find online and yeah. refurbish. Yeah. Um, and so these are the more cost-effective options that sure. are being thrown into the mix just to awesome. meet budget. All right then, beautiful. Yeah. Downstairs, we're still heaving away. So what we've got with this beam here is that it's going to get welded back into the main big one we've just put up there and it's going to take the full load of the rest of the roof. It's quite amazing actually, the size of this steel to the size of that steel. But that one's doing all the work. All we've got to do now is put a post under here, weld that to the end. Acro's come away and let's, let's hope the roof does stay up. run first. <laughs> Not even a millimetre of movement. Nice job. This is a bit of love. Beams in, wall down, ceiling still up. I call that a result. I've got the design done, the cabinets ordered, and now I need some space age furniture to fit. Top of my shopping list today is to find chairs for the cinema room. They have to suit the space, but also recline, as Pete really wants that gold class feel. Wow, these are great for the cinema room. And I'll tell you why, there's a couple of reasons. They're a really great scale for the room because it's quite small, what we're working with. They're modular and they're super duper comfortable. Add some Ottoman's new fabric and they'll be fantastic. So, this is what I'm after. 
Can you give me a little bit of a history about them, where they come from, how much they are? Sure. These are done by an Australian uh, designer, very iconic, called Featherston, Great. from 1973. They come in a polyurethane injected foam and then upholstered over. Is that what makes over. them so comfy? It is indeed. Yeah, it is right. indeed. Okay. Well, they're perfect. So I've got to ask how much they are. They're two ninety five a chair. That's an absolute bargain. I would love, love, love to take them. Um, I want them. Good. Yeah, great. I want to turn the wooden floor from red to a light grey, as the current colour overwhelms everything. It's a tricky process on parquetry. This huge amount of flooring will have to be sanded nine times stained twice and then have three coats of sealant on top. No wonder I need a real expert on the job. So there are tests. A little bit too black. <laughs> right, that's the colouring, but it's still yeah. too dark. That sort of is too walnutty. Yes. But definitely that's the colouring, but half of that again. OK, so that's 50%, so we're going to go down to 30%. Stone. OK, that no, sounds okay. good. Norm is using thinners to dilute the black to achieve the right shade of grey. Do you think I'll be happy on the first one? I hope so. <laughs> I've <laughs> done it before. Let's so. give it a go. OK. All right. Still goes quite walnutty because of the red, doesn't it? Let it dry yeah. a bit. Yeah, yeah. You're telling me to be patient. OK. <laughs> We'll make it work. Yeah, just make it quick. Oh, my God! You're a magician! You did do it first go. That is incredible. Cos, look, it's... Like, I know we can see a little bit of red, but it's just dulled it down enough. It's light. Yep. And you said you can put a little bit of milkiness That's in the right. acrylic. Yes. So that'll just tone that down again. Yep. I'm blown away. That's amazing. All right, well, I'll have a whole house of that, thank you. No worries. OK. Uh, I'll leave it up to you. Perfect. Yeah, I think yeah. they're going to be so happy. I yeah. love it. Upstairs, we're installing Yasser's bespoke cabinetry. Even though this wall of storage has been cut in half for budget reasons, that's still a heap of DVDs. And there's more on the TV wall. With a month to go, we've run into a little hiccup in Pete's cinema room. And Yas is due soon. Oh! Just getting Holy it tidy. Holy Oh, wow! Hello, Yas. Yay! How are you going? I'm great. How are you? Good to see you. You too. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is exciting. How are you liking it so far? Yeah, it's great. No corners, just stops no there. Corners. Just going to run a timber panelling around yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just this one. Match the joinery. Just actually going to run that around the top. Cool. Yep. Perfect. Good's good. Yay. And I can see they've got all the perforations for the subwoofer. Yeah. Came out nice. Yeah, it's going to work really well. Yeah. This will be, be painted dark. Oh, my God, what the hell happened oh, there? Nothing happened there. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, slight little problem when we're putting the overhead in. It fell. The whole thing fell? Yeah, just went, we had a little bit of trouble just getting it lined in. And as they did it, we just dropped it. Being fixed up, I hope. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, the guys are coming out. You're going to make a new top for it. Yeah, so right. Make a new top for it. Yeah, cool. <laughs> These things happen. One item we can't afford to break is the glass doors in the family room. The wall Pete hated has been taken down. The frame's installed. The picture window is safely in place. And now it's the delicate job of manoeuvring the stack of doors into position. Okay, top track. So, lucky last one. Come together really good, guys. Oh, how easy was that? 
That's perfect. So we finally got the doors in, and this is the bit I've been waiting for, just to see how it all closes together. All we're going to do is this one here has got to close first to lock it. So we'll just slide this one across. And then just finish by the last door, locking it in. Simple as that. And how good does it look? It's come together so well. We're more than halfway through this build. With all the extras like the floor and outdoor area, the budget is now up to half a million dollars. Time for Pete and Debbie to start seeing what they're getting for their money. Oh, look at you two holding hands. <laughs> You're so excited. <laughs> we are very excited. I'm so excited to show you. Come on up. Let's look. go. Are you well, yeah. here we go. The right. start of your new entrance. Right. Yeah. So come into here. Yeah. As you can see, that's all been plastered up. Does that make a difference? It makes a yeah. huge yeah. difference. Come down to here, because the first thing I want you to notice is... Oh, wow, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. It just lets so much natural light yeah. in. That's amazing. That makes a huge difference, it? makes it? a massive it difference. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So let's go down let's here and we'll yeah. just have reveal after reveal. OK. Oh. Hope you wet, I hope you wet your pants. <laughs> So, wow. walk inside, oh, go in. Yeah. This is your retreat. Oh. This is the sense of ownership of the space, so yeah. that when you come in here, yeah. you can actually lock nice. it off when you want. Yeah. Nice. And this becomes your own little haven. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. Oh. Wow. This is goosebump wow. material. Have a look at this. That is so light. This is light. your vision, Peter. Yeah. And it's yeah. absolutely amazing. Like, the glass down yeah. there, yeah. it's like a big picture frame. Yeah. Makes a huge difference. And the light and the connection here. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to open this. So, Peter, you go there. I'll grab this. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And it just keeps going. Look at that. that just... Blows me away, the um, engineering behind it. Mm. There's another space that we haven't quite looked at yet. No, no. Upstairs, yeah. yeah. But you know what? I don't want to show you. Because halfway through, it just doesn't do it justice. I really want you to see it at the end so you get that big feeling of just how amazing yeah. it is. So just have to hang off for a little bit more. Yes. With just one week to go to the birthday party deadline, Yes and I are seeing stars. We got it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So these are different size holes that we did. Yeah. And then um, put on this layered maybe four different paint tones. So when we get the LED lights, that's going to give you the effect of some of the light coming through. Yeah. Like the Milky Way. Yeah, yeah, okay. definitely. So we're supposed to have that nighttime wow. okay. um, aesthetic, and I think we've achieved that. Hopefully. I think you've done pretty well, yes. Yeah. I think you've done very well. Back down below, we finally entered the decorating phase. The bedroom is getting its pattern on and I'm tackling the paint job in the winter room. From day one, I called this the winter room because I knew it had to be cosy and I definitely wanted to go dark. In the master bedroom, they had a dark coloured wallpaper, which is almost the same as this, but I made sure I got a darker and a lighter just to see if it was going to work. But to me, this is exactly right to connect the two spaces. In a room like this, it is all about creating a cosy feeling, but going dark means you create intimacy. The only place I wouldn't use a dark colour is probably when you want to create that big, light and airy feel. But really, I think you can use a dark colour in any room of the house. We're into the final week of the build. The kitchen and bathroom are reaching completion. We've just got the grouting to do, a few taps to fit off, the toilet to fit off, and we're pretty ready to go to clean it up. The bathroom now seems far more spacious. Helped by moving the vanity to the other wall with the toilet. And it screams sanctuary. What's more luxurious than marble tiles? 
and check out this beautiful tapware. I think Pete and Debbie are going to be speechless when they walk in because I don't think they could imagine it would ever be this beautiful. Fair delivery. Yes. Follow me this way. And Yas is putting the finishing touches to her crazy man cave. I've had my vintage chairs reupholstered in a masculine shade of blue, and the matching ottomans give the seating a lot of flexibility. So these are all from Pete's very large collection, and they actually inspired the entire concept for this room. If you look at the shapes and the galaxy-like forms, they created or inspired a lot of the shapes that we find in some of the items that were custom made. So these are glorious lights, all sort of um, hand poured resin pieces. And this stripy effect found at the bottom of the fitting was actually inspired by Doctor Who's scarf. And yes, he does have Doctor Who's scarf. So there's loads and loads of details. And I hope that when Pete comes in here, he actually notices them and there's a little journey when he wanders through. So yeah, I can't wait for him to see it. Okay, you ready? Sorry. It's D-Day minus two, and we're on the home stretch. Oh, my God! How exciting! This is so good. It's stunning. Can you believe that was red? Yeah, but how they've got it so uniform is awesome, isn't it? And it wasn't easy. Because it's parquetry, it can bleed in all the corners, so he's a little bit of a genius, the old guy. This has been a humongous renovation. A brand new kitchen, new furniture and fittings almost throughout. Look at the size of that! And of course, the creation of the master suite. One, two, three. Oh, get out of town! But all this glamour and luxury comes at a high price, half a million dollars. The biggest outlay, as always, was labour, $174,000. Then the fixtures, fittings and materials for each area. The kitchen and family came to a whopping 114000 The big ticket items being 66000 for the kitchen and 33000 on those glass stacking doors. The outdoor area cost 96000 with that $80,000 pergola. The master suite came in at 70000 32 on the winter room, 23000 to create the ensuite and fifteen on the bedroom. Finally, Pete's man cave was $46,000. Teamwork! Teamwork! Wow. I just think they're going to be over the moon. It's oh, just are. totally different. It's a different house. Yeah. I remember how pink this place was. Mm -hmm. Well, I've still got splashes of pink, no, but a no. nicer pink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well yeah. done. If they don't cry, I'm going to be so upset. You'll cry for them? <laughs> I'll cry for them! <laughs> This has been a huge project. Redesigning the layout of the downstairs to create a luxurious master suite. Big structural items like the glass stacking doors, bringing to life an eccentric cinema room. How exciting, Debbie. 15 weeks and half a million dollars later, will they think it was worth it? You ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Here you go. <laughs> Wow. Welcome to your wonderland. Oh. It's, the floor makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Huge difference. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Looks fantastic. Very sophisticated. Sets Love it. It's the scene yeah. for the rest of the house. Let's go down yeah. here and yep. show wow. you the winter room. It's too much to take in, Shane. There's a lot to take yeah, in. Yeah. yeah. Wow.
That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Move right in. That is beautiful. I wow. don't want to stand on this rug. This is just beautiful. <laughs> The charcoal walls and carpet let the green accents pop in a classic pattern mix of floral and geometric. I love that fabric. It's beautiful. So gorgeous. Then we've got the bedroom in the bedroom. there that comes off here. Okay. So that's the next bit. Yeah. Okay, so you can slide the door or you can open it. Oh, so come into goodness. your wow. come into your retreat. Oh, wow. I love it. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Love that. Yeah, that is so beautiful. Isn't it just gorgeous? It is. I love yeah. that fabric. It's beautiful. I remember you showing us the fabric, but it doesn't do it justice until you see it like that. And it's just simple. Yeah. Like, it's not yeah. overbearing. There's enough pattern going yeah. on here. There's just yeah. small yeah. touches. Again, I've gone for a classic mix of pattern. Bold shapes on the wall, floral footstool and striped cushions. This time with pink as the accent colour. I love that wallpaper. I loved it when you showed it to me. It's just beautiful. Yeah. So Absolutely there's one gorgeous. more piece to that puzzle of the, the retreat and the hotel suite. The size of this bathroom is phenomenal. Oh, my goodness. Debbie wanted a sanctuary to luxuriate in, and I think we've delivered. So there's your beautiful bath. Amazing. Oh my God, those I taps are beautiful. And there's a light, light down there, oh, cool. so you can have all this turned off and just, just have, have a little light, light there, yeah. so it, you're in a sanctuary, yeah. have all your candles lit. Yeah. When people say, where do you spend your money, yeah. creating this extra floor space mm. gets you the luxury that you're yeah. after. Yeah. Yeah. It does. Yeah. yeah. Amazing job. Yeah, the bathroom I've always wanted. Yeah. It's just beautiful. I think the master suite got five stars. But how about the rest of downstairs? One, two, three. Open your eyes. Oh, wow. my goodness. <laughs> just come in. Oh. I've got a few stories to tell. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Come through. It feels so much bigger, oh, bigger, doesn't it? It's just different. It does. That is just gorgeous. This space is amazing. I actually commissioned your beautiful daughter... Yeah. ..to design artwork for the backs of the oh, chairs. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So if you have a look around, there's yeah. all different designs yeah. on the backs of the chairs. Chairs look oh, amazing, beautiful. actually. I love yeah. the colour and the artwork on the wall. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, so amazing. she had a story with that mm. about the holidays they have together as a family and going to the beach, and it reminds her of you yeah. and your time as a family. Oh. It's really designed lovely, with love for you. Yeah. In the kitchen, we took out the pantry and created a cupboard to conceal all the appliances. Even the fridge is now concealed. And all this has the effect of making the kitchen feel bigger while giving Debbie much more bench space. Just yeah. doesn't look like a fridge, does it? It looks no, like a cupboard. That's great. Yeah. That's, oh, fantastic. that's fantastic. Yeah. That's so cool. It is. I love how integrated it is. Like everything's integrated. Yes. Yeah. And it just leaves the lines clean with yeah. everything. This so is lovely too. Love the ovens. But the focal point is that island bench. To get that amazing curve, flexible ply was wrapped around a handmade frame, then topped with another thin layer for a smooth finish. Hand-carved grooves complete the look. Finally, it was two-packed in my chosen shade for a perfect finish. We 
we painted that area black so yeah. it feels bigger. The new speakers yeah. are black yeah. to go with it. Yeah. This yeah. is the relaxed area. It mm. is. So it's got similar colours that's yeah. in the other room, mm. but it's relaxed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's the indoors, but let's not forget the outdoors. So you open there and off we go. Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. That is so gorgeous. Wow. It's fantastic. Amazing. Yeah. This is perfect for entertaining. Yeah. I think this is the perfect spot for a combined birthday. Oh, oh, I reckon. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. we should have a party here. Oh, I, I think, think we will. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to head to Planet Peak. Take a big breath. <sighs> Just take it all in. Oh, my goodness. This Amazing. is another world. It is. This actually houses your fridge. Oh. oh. So you've got a little fridge in there, a little bar fridge. Oh. Cool. You see those lights there? Oh, yeah. love it. They've all yeah. been individually made, and wow. down the bottom is the stripes of Doctor Who's scarf. Oh, oh, cool. So all those colours, and then the resin is like the galaxy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so have a look. Your collection oh, hiding behind here. Oh, wow. Then you have all this storage. Oh, wow. To put more. Look at that. TV. That That's amazing. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at that. Yeah. That's, that's amazing too. Well, this is amazing. Sit down on there and lay down and then look at the galaxy. Okay. It's unbelievable. I just can't can't take it all in to be quite honest. <laughs> it's overload for me. Yeah. Absolute overload. Is it everything you expected? Yeah, um, yeah and more. It, and more, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. better than what I expected, so, yeah. yeah. That's good. Yas's earrings have translated to these clever concealers made from polyester and sewn onto a strip to create the curtain. I just want to thank you so much, Shana, because, you know, you've really um, exceeded my expectations mm, on everything. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Shana. So thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank it's you. Been yeah. an absolute yeah. pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> thank I'll you. leave you here. You can yeah. stay here for a couple of minutes. A couple and then minutes you can and go. I'm, yeah. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Shana. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just, just amazing. Yeah. It is. Yeah. The hard work's all done. Now, it's time to party. Me and Debbie just wanted to say a few words. The word that comes to mind for me is wow. Um, <laughs> but a very special thanks has to go to Shana Blaze and your fabulous crew. We can't thank you enough. Cheers to everyone. Yeah.